we have already learnt about crop, crop produce and various types of crops that are grown in India. So now we will see about basic agricultural practices that are performed by a farmer. So now what, do you, what is this basic agricultural practice? What do you mean by that? It is nothing but uh, the various steps performed by a farmer to produce a good crop. We call it as basic agricultural practice. Now what are the steps that are involved? So the first step is selection of location and nature of the soil. Second step preparation of the soil. Third step sowing of the seeds. Fourth step is irrigation. Fifth step is application of nutrients. It may be manure or fertilizers. And then sixth step is crop protection. Seventh step harvesting and eighth step is storage of grains. Each of these steps is equally important to produce a good crop. As we all know that plant needs proper sunlight, air and nutrients for its growth, the farmer has to take proper steps to ensure all these uh, requirements for the crop to grow. Yes, so in the first step that is nothing but selection of the location and nature of the soil, then the farmer has to ensure that all these are present for his crop field. So what are those? It is sunlight, air, so that the plants can grow, can perform photosynthesis properly and then he should ensure proper fencing so that the cattle will not uh, be able to cause harm to the crop whereas the last one is availability of the nutrients. So the nutrients are very much required for the crop to grow and there are so many soil testing centers to test for the presence of nutrients in the field. The second step preparation of soil involves three important steps that is first one plowing, leveling and manuring. So what are the three steps involved in the preparation of the soil? That is plowing, leveling and manuring. So what do you mean by plowing? Plowing is nothing but loosening the soil and turning up of the soil we call it as plowing. In traditionally uh, this uh, plow, agricultural implement called plow is used to turn up the soil whereas nowadays we are using tractor driven cultivator for plowing the soil. Now there are some advantages of plowing. So what are they? So plowing, uh, the first advantages is uh, it helps in uh, turning up of the soil, nutrient rich soil onto the top so that the plants can utilize these nutrients properly and helps in proper growth. And the second advantage is it provides proper aeration uh, so that the soil bacteria can grow properly and helps in decaying the dead plants or dead leaves and uh, organisms which adds humus to the soil. And uh, the third advantage is that it also helps uh, in proper root penetration into the soil. The second step is called leveling. So leveling is nothing but making the land even and slightly pressing the soil so that we can prevent the uh, soil erosion. Now because of leveling, the bigger soil uh, particles can be made into smaller particles and also we can promote uniform irrigation. We can give water to the field uniformly and also we can prevent water logging conditions. There won't, there won't be any stagnation of water anywhere in the field. Yes? Now the third step is manuring. So manuring is nothing but giving a manure or nutrients to the field or to the soil, we call it as manuring. So what kind of material, what are the different types of manures uh, that we are using to give to the soil is farmyard manure, green manure and compost manure. So what are the three types of manures? Farmyard manure, green manure and compost manure. Coming to first farmyard manure. So this farmyard manure includes the farm materials like cow dung and it also includes this leftover leaves, straw etc. And uh, that forms this farmyard manure and whereas green manure. 
So this grain manure, once how it is obtained is once the crop yield is got or crop produce is got, the leftover parts of the plant is uh, plowed into the soil so that it get decomposed by the soil bacteria and is converted into humus. So this is nothing but grain manure. And the third one is compost manure. So this compost manure consists of the cattle shed waste as well as dry leaves. So these are the three steps for preparation of the soil that is plowing, then leveling and manuring.